G'day and welcome to day 300, woo! 300 days of growing this beer, which means there's 66 days left if you think it's 65. Incorrect, it's a leap year this year, so February sprung out an extra day, and I have to have this beer for an extra day longer. Mm. But anyway, it's What's Up Wednesday, and so what's crack lacking with the news and everything like that? Now, if you haven't been hearing the sad, sad news about the Elmo story, in particular, the, I guess, the puppeteer, you would call him, and the voice, but the person behind Elmo, uh, Kevin Clash. Now, he was, what is it, accused of having sexual relationships with another man. That's not so much of a problem, but apparently the timing of the issue is a problem, because apparently this person was 16 at the time, um, and there was this mix-up with the timing and the age and when it happened, and then $125,000 went from Kevin Clash to this person, and he recanted his story. Um, he's, uh, what's the guy's name? The guy's, um, Sheldon Stevens, that's it. I was trying to think, I knew it was like SS. Sheldon Stevens, he recanted his story, and now he wants to recant his recantation. It's recanting, recanting, recant. Whatever, I think maybe he thinks he can get more money, but he's saying he just wants the truth to come out because he was underage. I think he was 16 at the time, which in some countries and states and all that kind of stuff, it's legal heterosexually, but homosexually, it's not legal until you're 18. There's all different laws and all these kind of things. But the newest story out today is he's actually resigned. Kevin Clash, so he temporarily was suspended temporarily, and then it was like, no, this recantation came in, the recant came in, so he was reinstated to do Elmo's voice and all that kind of stuff, and then the boy wants to go, no, well, the, he's, a, he's an adult now, and wants to go, no, um, it wasn't true, but the thing is, is that someone else has come out, this guy called uh, Cecil Singleton has come out and said back in 93 when he was 15, he was, uh, I guess, uh, met Kevin, Kevin Clash on the internet websites or whatnot. 93, that's a long time ago to be chatting online. Maybe it was like ICQ or MSN. Was it MSN chat back then? Not back in 93. I'm trying to think. I don't remember. Back in 93, I would have been seven years old. Online chat in 93 seems a bit long ago. That seems a bit interesting. But anyway, he's made claims that they had sexual, sexual intercourse when he was 15. So now it's just gone all to the shambles. Sesame Street's in the spin. Elmo is nowhere to be found, and Kevin Clash has resigned, and it's just sad, sad news, because Sesame Street does so much good, and they've been doing so much good for the past 30, 40 odd years, I'm not sure how long Sesame Street's been going, I'm pretty sure it started up in the 70s, so it's like 40 years now, so there you go, so that's what's been happening if you haven't been hiding under a rock, if you have been hiding under a rock, that's what's been happening, this person keeps calling me if you know from yesterday, um, they can just be ignored. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Sad news for Sesame Street. Sad news for Elmo. But hopefully the truth comes out and everything gets rectified and all that such and things. And sorry for blurting on and wobbling on and all that kind of jazz. But that's the news for today. Um, thanks for watching. My name is Pasha. This is 300 Days of Beard Growth. And I'll see you tomorrow.